What's going on you guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm Mitchell with Mitchell's Lawn Care and behind me I've got the Toro Proline HDX walk behind and the Toro HD 21 inch commercial push mower. Okay, want to give you guys my first impressions of these mowers. I have got a little bit of time on them and kind of a brief review. Not diving into any, you know, hardcore specs or stuff like that uh, or, you know, every nut and bolt, but just a first impressions, kind of what I think about them initially since I've used them a little bit and, you know, just a little bit of review to make you more aware of these mowers if you're considering a, person, a purchase. So if you're interested, stick around. Let's talk about these Toros. All right, y'all, so again, welcome to the shop. Love having y'all here. I love having this space to be able to do stuff like this. And I wanna to thank Toro for the opportunity to bring these two mowers to you. I have partnered up with them for the 2022 season as a Toro ambassador. First time using their products uh, and so far so good, okay? Again, just wanna do uh, hopefully a brief video, you know, eight, 10, 12 minutes, okay? Just first impressions, overall, like what do I think about, you know, build quality, things like that. Um, a little bit of a review, not, not too crazy in depth, and uh, just to you know, maybe assist you guys if you are considering a purchase, okay? So gas powered here on my right and battery powered here on my left, okay? So let's dive in real quick to the 21 inch push mower. I call it push mower. Uh, it is self-propelled, uh, but this is the 21 inch heavy duty um, revolution mower okay revolution is the the moniker that they have given to their their battery powered lineup okay the grandstand and sit down mowers and stuff like that so this is the this is in the revolution series with toro um, it is a two-in-one mower meaning it will mulch or recycle uh, mulch and bag only okay it does not have a side discharge option um, some of you guys uh, uh, like that and want that or need that this mower doesn't have that option okay now my personal opinion i wish it did have a side discharge option uh, because you don't always or you can't always mulch you know if the the grass is just thick okay the side discharge lets you get that out of you know the uh, from around the blade and stuff and just lets the mower work and you don't always want to bag so or you can't always bag so not having the side discharge um, option uh, is somewhat of an issue for me so it just it changes up like when and where you can use this mower if that doesn't matter to you then uh, a two-in-one is perfect for you okay um, Again, battery powered option right here on the top is where you put the battery in. It, it takes their, the Toro 60V, which can be used on all of their other like handheld stuff, the hedge trimmers, line trimmers, stuff like that. This is their commercial uh, iteration of this mower, thicker deck, bumper, uh, stuff like that that you would need in a commercial setting with employees using it. Um, we all know that uh, they're a little rough on equipment at times, okay? Um, before I grab the camera and do a little walk around, uh, I just wanna talk about each. So that was the, real quick, just the 21 inch. To my right is the Proline HDX 54 inch deck option, okay? Uh, they do have this in a 48. This is the middle range at the 54, and they do have the 60, okay? Um, comes with the Kawasaki FX691V. Great power plant. I've had no issues with Kawasaki in the past. Um, I, I really believe they make a great motor um, for commercial mowers, all right? This is their walk behind, okay? Uh, the controls on it are really cool. I like them. Still getting used to them, all right? And when I do a little walk around of it, I'll, I'll show you that. Um, and just to preface it with, I have a lot of experience with walk behinds, um, or I'll say just a walk behind. I owned a Hustler Trim Star uh, 48 inch mower for 10, 11 years. So I have a lot of experience with a walk behind style mower. So these controls are way different than that. Still getting used to them, um, but we can talk about that in a minute. Um, overall, the build quality of this mower is what you would expect from Toro. It is obviously in their commercial lineup, you know, beefy components, you know, nice, uh, 
you know, uh, beefy frame. I'm not going to get into the dimensions because I didn't, didn't measure it, but it is equivalent and on par with other wall behinds in this space. Okay. So there's a nice little bumper here across, you know, where the exhaust is, you know, if something was to fall on top of the mower, a big branch or something like that, you know, it's not going to damage your, your muffler right here. Um, so they thought about that. I like the, what I would consider oversized rear tires in the back compared to some other walk behinds in this space. But overall, you know, my first impression of this mower is it, it's what I expect from Toro. And, you know, most manufacturers these days that are in a commercial setting, you know, are building mowers, you know, as top notch as they possibly can. This is no exception. And I really like it. Okay. So, I'm going to grab the camera, do a quick little walk around of each mower. And while you're watching this video, if you can think of anything that I'm not hitting on that you're curious about, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to you know, get you an answer or do it in a, in a, in a follow-up video, okay? Which is coming. So once I, get more, once I get more time on these pieces of equipment, kind of mid to late season, okay? Um, you know, kind of how it's going type style video, I might be able to, to cross those points with you, okay? So as of right now, I got almost five hours on the Proline. I just got the 21 inch mower put together the other day. There was an issue in shipping and some of the, the, the hardware needed to put it together was missing. Um, no fault to Toro. We all know how horrible shipping companies can be and how they just destroy packaging. So the box when it showed up was just, you know, mutilated, but Toro was wonderful to work with along with uh, my local dealer STI uh, and Chris Keith. They got me um, all of the hardware that I needed to put this thing together. So just started using it the other day. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna grab the camera and let's do a walk around. All right, guys, so we want to take a quick break and talk to you about Jobber, okay? I want to thank them for sponsoring me, sponsoring my channel, and just bringing a wonderful product to market, okay? But specifically, I want to talk about Jobber Grants. Just take a minute or two and talk about Jobber Grants. So they've got $150,000 on the line, and they're breaking it down into 25 different increments, okay? And you can apply from now until May 26th, that link will be in my description down below. But if you own a home service business, you're an entrepreneur and new business, struggling business, and you just need a little support, a pick me up, a Kickstarter, the Jobber Grants program could help you out. Um, you know, depending on what you, you know, if you're selected, what you qualify for, you know, let's say they send you $5,000, $10,000, $15,000. That's a lot of money and can go a long way to help you start your business, you know, get out of a tough spot, get you to the next level, um, whatever it may be. You know, I wish something like this would have been available when I was starting my business. It would have really helped me out. Um, but kudos to Jobber for stepping up and doing stuff like this for 25 lucky home service entrepreneurs out there, okay? Again, you can apply, it's for free. You don't have to spend any money to apply and you could be one of the 25 recipients, okay? Up to, or they're, they're giving out $150,000 in total, 25 different increments, okay? So use the link below, do that right now if you want and then come back to the video. But go ahead and apply because the only way to win is to apply. Anyways, back to the regular scheduled program. All right, guys, so 21 inch mower, like I said before, up top here, oh, up top here is where you put the battery in. Uh, I got a nice beefy little bumper right there, thick gauge steel mower deck. So it is their commercial quality mower, okay? And there is a gas powered option with this mower and the only thing they did was swap out the power plant okay so it is the exact same mower as their gas powered one so it's it's built just as tough okay really cool up here um this i like how this works so when you want to use it pull this down i'm gonna try to do this one-handed but anyways you just push this button and that's how easily 
it comes on. Now, you'll see right here, um, this is the auto and the max option, okay? So you can keep it on auto, like if you're just mowing, you know, the same weekly property and you're just knocking the tops off the grass, auto would be all you need. Um, and if it gets into some thicker stuff, it will automatically rev up the RPMs to give you more power. So this is just like a battery saving option, but if you want it full power all the time, you just switch it to that, okay? Anyways, auto and max, really neat option, okay? Uh, like I said before, it's the two-in-one mulching and bagging option only. And that's pretty much it, guys. This is a very simple mower, very easy to use. Um, they've beefed up the sides of the decks right here where, you know, they can get battered pretty good. So um, overall, really cool mower. Looking forward to using it this season. And right here, Toro HDX, 54-inch. So... POV from the operator station right here. Okay. So it has a kill switch and in, in both handles. Okay. You may like this. You may not. Okay. I'm used to the H bar from the trim star. So this is taking some getting used to, especially on a, not so much a zero turn, um, but on a walk behind to me, this is taking some getting used to not a deal breaker. Um, it's got plenty of bars right here to hang on to for support. There is a, what I would consider like a cruise control option. So it's got three different settings right here, you know, fastest, middle, slowest, and that just moves this bar. Let me see if I can get it to do it. See that, how it moves. And that, controls how fast you go because when you throttle forward the the control actually hits that bar so if it's all the way up here of course you're going to go faster if it's back further this way you're going to go slower okay so just kind of helps you or helps the mower from from getting away from you like i said kawasaki fx 691v great mower uh, a great motor oversized tires on this looks like these are 20 by 8 by 10s um, a lot of walk behinds have got small rear tires, so you're going to get pretty good um, uh, slope or hill stability on this. Okay, so I really like the larger tire. That was just like on my, my trim store, and I loved the larger tires. Um, something else I'm having to get used to because the 54 inch deck to me is a little wonky. Um, you know, 48s and 60s on this uh mower probably run even but the 54 it's a little closer to the tire over here but there's way more that hangs over on the trim side so it's taking a little bit getting used to that's not knocking toro at all i think that's pretty much a lot of 54s um you know uh a four foot deck would be centered here and then uh, a 60 would be as well so you can kind of see how it's a little offset um, not a deal breaker, just something, you know, you got to get used to. So I really like the, uh, the cover over the, the, the pulleys really simple to get that thing off. Another thing that's really cool is single point, um, deck height control. So you've got all the way from, uh, an inch and a half right there. Let's see. There we go. Inch and a half all the way up to four and a half. Okay. So single location to raise and lower the deck. And it's really, really easy to use. Um, let's see, overflow for your hydro. And they do make a sulky for this. Um, I did opt for it, but it's in my trailer right now. Um, really cool, but it mounts right here on the back. Everything is super easy to get to. If you need to make adjustments to the, um, you know, your controls or whatever, you can do that right there. Got your uh, blade um engagement right here on and off of course your on off key throttle um choke this is not a, a fuel injected one but uh there's the choke for it your hour meter you know and all the other stuff you need okay so but i got a little over four hours on this one something i, I will tell you that i don't like um right out of the gate and i think they could improve on this is the fuel tank. There's no way of knowing how much fuel's in it. There's no sight bubble on the side of it. There's no gauge on the top. There's no way of knowing the fuel up here. So 
The only way to know how much fuel that you've got in this mower is to one, run out, which you don't want to do, or two, open this and actually look and keep track of it. But I feel like, you know, my, my Hustler was, I got back in 2009, which do the math, many years ago, had a, like a sight glass or a sight bubble on the side of the tank to where you could visibly see, you know, how much fuel's in it. So they could easily have that on the side of this tank. And I know Toro probably doesn't make this gas tank. It's made for them or they just, whatever. But I really, really, th there's no reason not to have, uh, you know, uh, uh, some type of fuel gauge on this being, you know, 2022. So, um, you know, and I think my, my Ryan um, aerator over there uh, doesn't have one either. So no reason for that. I mean, it's not a little push mower. So, um, you know, if you run out of fuel on the backside of a large property, it's not going to be good. So one of my like true real dislike right now, everything else I'm just trying to get used to. Overall, I really like it. It cuts fabulous. This deck is awesome. Um, and I've had nothing but compliments from property owners on the properties that I have been using it. So overall, I really like it. All right, you guys. So I uh, went a little bit longer than what I wanted to, but kept it under 20 minutes. And that's my first impressions of, and a little minor review of these two mowers from Toro. Again, huge thanks to Toro for um, sending these out to me to use this season. And I, I'm not gonna to beat and bash on them. So don't expect that. I'm not that kind of guy like, oh, I'm gonna see if I can destroy these mowers. That's not me, okay? Um, I, I need these in my fleet to service my customers' properties. So, but what I will do is a couple months from now, follow up, um, you know, pretty much review on these, how it's going, what I think, pros, cons, likes and dislikes, okay? Um, but as of right now, first impression, expect it, you know, as expected from Toro. They're, they're built like Toro builds mowers and, and you would expect it. So um, I'm looking forward to using these throughout the season. But anyways, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If there's any questions I can ask or answer for you, let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Make sure you browse the channel. I got over 150 videos now here on the channel and uh, I'm going to try to do uploads, you know, maybe every week, every two weeks here. Okay. And if there's something you want to see, let me know. And uh, that'll be it, guys. See you next video.